Welcome to the Under Construction Podcast with me, Martin Williams. Here we talk about how to build or rebuild your life one step at a time. Let's get to work. And thank you for tuning in to the Under Construction Podcast. I I keep having to catch myself. I don't want to say the old podcast name, but um, this is indeed the Under Construction Podcast with Martin Williams. I am Martin Williams, and thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe to the podcast. You may do so on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube. All the links to the podcast can be found at goddardexpressions.com forward slash podcast with an S. So this is day three of our journey through the science of getting rich book. And this day has to do with opportunity and is opportunity monopolized. That's the name of the chapter. And I am really excited to get into this. I I love the opportunity to really delve into this book. This is a book that I've kind of skimmed over a few times, but I have not done this deep dive like I'm doing. and, And so I'm excited that you're on this journey with me. Okay. So let's get right into it. Waddle, uh, Wallace Waddles, who say the man's name right, talks about opportunity. And you, talking about you the person, no matter who you are, no matter where you're listening to me from, you have an opportunity to be rich. You have an opportunity to enjoy abundance far beyond what you thought was possible. Okay. Waddle says that you have the, you have an opportunity to be the owner of your enterprise no matter where you start. He talks about opportunity being presented to the farmer before the factory worker. Now, we have to understand that this book was written at the beginning of the 20th century. So things were a lot different back then. But what he's essentially saying, the way that I take, uh, the takeaway that I got from it was, the farmer is a person who grows things for people to use. And so I would ask you, are you creating things and processes for people to use? Are you creating courses and audios to help people grow? The opportunity is wide open for those folks. So if you're if you're in the self-improvement field and anybody can be in it, even if, you know, you, you don't have to want to be like Tony Robbins or any anything like that to be in the self-improvement field. You could be a web designer and you could, you know, create a course to help people design their websites better. Or you could be someone who, you know, sell stuff off of eBay and helping people how to sell stuff off of eBay better. Whatever the case may be, that opportunity is wide open for you because you're helping people get better. And what he was talking about, the difference between the farmer and the factory worker, is that the factory worker is basically trained to do one job and one job only. So today's factory worker is basically any nine to five employee, right? Most nine to five employees are trained to do one job, right? Because you get paid for one job. But as an entrepreneur, you have many hats, you have many jobs, right? So what Waddles is basically saying is that the opportunity is wide for the entrepreneur more so than the nine to five employee. Even though the nine to five employee still has opportunity, if you don't get a job, don't fret because the greater opportunity is owning your own business, right? Waddles continues. He says, no one is deprived of opportunity no matter how much money they have or where they find themselves in life. And I I love how he said that because so many people look in their bank account and and it's it's like instant depression, right? You look in your bank account and you say, man, that's not enough for me to do much of anything. But it doesn't matter, right? Because you're not deprived of opportunity. Opportunities are always there no matter how much money is in your bank account. You may not have any money, but it doesn't matter because the opportunities are there. They're right in front of you. Okay? But you have to have eyes to see, as the Bible says, and ears to hear. You've got to be able to recognize opportunity when it's standing in front of you. So Waddles continues and says, no one is kept in poverty due to a short a shortage of resources. <clears throat> there are two types of supplies. There's the visible supply, 
and the invisible supply. The visible supply is what you see, of course. Excuse me. The visible supply is what you see, right? In the U.S., the visible, uh, the visible supply, excuse me, is pretty much inexhaustible. We have so much here. We have so much abundance. We have so much that so much of it goes to waste. It gets thrown away. And companies have been created and make billions of dollars just off of things that we waste, okay? We wouldn't have dollar stores if we made more stuff than what we could use, right? Um, so the supply, the visible supply is inexhaustible, right? But the unseen supply is even more inexhaustible, okay? And that unseen supply is what we have within us. The visible supply is what we have in our bank account. But the invisible supply is what we have deep within ourselves. And that is unlimited. And you can tap into it and have enough wealth for 30 to 40 lifetimes. But most people never tap into it because they don't, they don't realize what they have within them. This inexhaustible supply will wipe out your debt. It will change the lives of everyone around you, including you. Now, all supply, visible and invisible, comes from the original substance. The earth will never run out. When the visible supply runs out, more will be made. Now, formless stuff, which is what Wallace calls it, the original substance, is intelligence. And it's a thinking stuff. It's a thinking intelligence, right? And this is very important. When you seek out more life, when you seek out more abundance, this formless stuff is attracted to you, okay? It's interacting with you in a way that goes beyond words. And I would say that faith and awareness of abundance directly correlates to how much of it, how much of it you experience in your life. So how do I put that in practical terms? So let's say that you desire more money, okay? That desire immediately sends a signal to that original substance, right? And what will happen is, is that you will get an idea. <coughs> Excuse me. Whenever you've needed money, oftentimes what happens is what? You get an idea, right? That idea is the original substance. I call it God, right? That original substance is talking to you and telling you, hey, you can do this to get that, right? So that, that idea will turn into money if you carry it out, okay? Now, I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but basically what I'm saying is the certain way is the way that you do these things the way that you do that idea, the way that you carry out idea, that idea rather, determines that formless stuff coming back to you because it can't just be carried out any way, right? But if you do it in a certain way, it brings in the thing that you desire, okay? As we get deeper into the book, I'll explain that a little more. But I just want you to think about that there's an unlimited amount of resources. And I, that is probably the, the best takeaway from this particular chapter, is there's an unlimited amount of resources. There's no shortage whatsoever. I don't care how much you want. It's out there for you. I don't care if we're in a recession right now. It doesn't mean anything. Because abundance there's just an unlimited amount of, of abundance and that abundance is already in you. You don't have to like look outside of you to get it. You look within to get it because that's where it is. It's, it's within you. And when you understand that it's within you, then you never have to worry about a job again, as far as, you know, whether they, you know, keep a job from you or not, you know, job markets go up and down all the time. But when you understand that the abundance is within you, 
you're never dealing with shortages ever again. So I'm going to leave it off there for day three. And day four, we're going to get into the nitty gritty. The first principle of the science of getting rich. I'm excited. Can't wait to share it with you. But until then, my name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the Under Construction Podcast on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and SoundCloud. For more information on Guided Expressions courses and products, go to guidedexpressions.com forward slash products.